In the small, tranquil village of Elder Tree, there lived a young boy named Liam who was known for his mischievous ways. Liam had a peculiar habit of causing a stir in the village by repeatedly crying out that a wolf was attacking the livestock. Each time, the villagers would rush out to his aid, only to find there was no wolf. Over time, they grew tired of Liam's pranks and stopped believing his cries for help. One serene autumn morning, the skies above Elder Tree turned unusually dark. Liam, who was playing near the outskirts of the village, was the first to notice the strange occurrence. He looked up to see an enormous flock of crows descending upon the village. The air was filled with the flapping of wings and the harsh cause of the crows. They swarmed over the fields and gardens, devouring crops and causing chaos. In a panic, Liam ran through the village streets, shouting, Crows! Millions of crows! They are destroying everything! But the villagers, still resentful of his past falsehoods, paid him no heed. They dismissed his warnings as another one of his tricks. As the days passed, the situation grew dire. The crows were relentless, eating all the food and creating a mess everywhere. The villagers were at their wit's end, unable to keep the birds away from their dwindling supplies. In a moment of desperation, Liam remembered an old tale his grandfather had told him about smoke driving away birds. He rushed through the village, urging everyone to build fires and create as much smoke as possible. This time, with their own eyes witnessing the devastation caused by the crows, the villagers decided to heed Liam's advice. Soon, billows of smoke rose from every corner of Elder Tree. The thick smoke enveloped the village, creating an unpleasant environment for the crows. Gradually, the birds began to disperse, seeking fresher air elsewhere. The village was finally free from the avian menace. The villagers sighed with relief and expressed their gratitude to Liam, realizing that his warning had been genuine. But their relief was short-lived. As the last of the crows flew away, a deep rumbling echoed in the distance, and the earth trembled beneath their feet. A new, unknown threat loomed over Elder Tree, and this time even Liam had no solution. The villagers gathered, filled with a sense of foreboding, wondering what this new danger was and how they would face it. Unlike before, there were no cries of wolf or crows to warn them. They stood together, united in their uncertainty, ready to face whatever challenge lay ahead. As the rumbling grew louder, the villagers of Elder Tree huddled together in the town square, their faces etched with worry. The ground shook more violently and a sense of dread filled the air. Liam, who had regained a bit of trust from the villagers, stood at the forefront, his eyes scanning the horizon for any sign of the new threat. Suddenly, from the dense forest that bordered Elder Tree, emerged a strange procession of creatures unlike any the villagers had ever seen. They were not fierce like wolves, nor numerous like the crows. These beings were tall and slender, with shimmering scales that reflected the sunlight. Their eyes glowed with an otherworldly light, and they moved with a grace that belied their size. The villagers gasped in awe and fear. These creatures, though intimidating in appearance, did not seem aggressive. They simply stood at the edge of the forest, observing the village with curious eyes. Liam, overcoming his initial shock, stepped forward cautiously. He remembered another tale from his grandfather, about ancient beings who dwelled in the forest, guardians of nature, rarely seen by human eyes. Gathering his courage, Liam addressed the creatures. We mean you no harm, he called out. We are the people of Elder Tree, and we wish only to live in peace. To everyone's surprise, one of the creatures stepped forward and spoke in a voice that was both gentle and resonant. We are the guardians of the forest. We have watched over these lands for centuries, seldom revealing ourselves. But the imbalance caused by the crows has disturbed the harmony of nature. We have come to ensure that balance is restored. The villagers listened in awe, realizing that these beings were not a threat but rather protectors of the natural world. The Guardian spoke of the importance of living in harmony with nature and warned that the disturbance caused by the crows was a sign of deeper issues that needed to be addressed. Liam, feeling a sense of responsibility, pledged on behalf of the village to be more mindful of their actions and their impact on the environment. The villagers agreed, understanding the importance of coexisting peacefully with nature. The Guardians, pleased with the villagers' willingness to learn and adapt, offered their guidance in restoring the damaged ecosystems and promised to watch over the village as long as they remained true to their word. As the Guardians retreated back into the forest, a sense of hope and renewal filled the air in Elder Tree. 
The villagers, led by a now-respected Liam, began the task of rebuilding and learning to live in a more balanced and respectful way with the world around them. And so, Elder Tree not only recovered from the crow's invasion, but also grew into a community that thrived in harmony with nature, guided by the wisdom of the guardians and the lessons learned from a boy who once cried wolf.